Good morning children. In today's session, we shall be looking at degrees of comparison. In one of my earlier videos, I had introduced this topic and today we shall be looking at it in detail. So here we go. Basically, there are three degrees of comparison. Positive, comparative and superlative. The adjective in its base form is in positive degree. When we change that adjective in comparative form, we add ER or IER. And when that same adjective is changed into superlative degree, we add EST or IEST. Let's try to understand these three degrees with a few examples. Small, smaller, smallest, tall, taller, tallest. In these two sets of examples, we have seen that the adjectives are changed into the comparative and superlative forms by adding ER or EST. Big Bigger Biggest There are certain adjectives which when we change, we have to double the last letter in it. So over here, when we change the adjective big into bigger and biggest, we see double G. Here is one more example of the same type. Fat Fatter Fattest Over here, the last letter is T which has been repeated twice in comparative and superlative form. There are certain adjectives which may end in Y. In such cases, when we change them into comparative and superlative form, Y is replaced by I. Let's look at them. Lovely Lovelier Loveliest Happy So in the last two examples, we have seen the adjectives lovely and happy end in Y and when we change them into their comparative and superlative forms, Y has been replaced by I. There are certain adjectives which we cannot change into comparative and superlative form by adding ER or EST. These adjectives change completely during the different degrees. Here are some examples. Good, better, best, bad, worse, worst. Best and worst are in superlative form. Better and worse are in comparative form. Whereas good and bad are in positive degree. There are adjectives which are very long where again using ER or EST will not make it meaningful. There we have to add more in the comparative form and most in the superlative form. For example, interesting, more interesting, most interesting beautiful more beautiful most beautiful let's look at some more examples warm warmer warmest 
hot hotter hottest dirty dirtier dirtiest boring more boring most boring little less least much or many more most so we have learned that the adjective in its base form is in positive degree the second degree is comparative where we add er and if it ends in y we add iear and if the adjective is long we add more with it in the comparative form the third degree is superlative degree where we add est and if the adjective ends with y we add iest and if the adjective is long we add most before it now let's try to understand its usage in sentences many a times questions may come wherein we have to complete the sentences using the correct form of adjectives let me give you some simple tips for it if in a sentence the blank appears just after the articles a or an we use the adjective in its positive degree for example the cuckoo sang a dash song sweet here after the article a there was the blank and that is why we use the adjective in its positive degree this is an dash book interesting anil is a dash boy tall in all these three examples we have seen the articles a and an coming in the sentence wherein we have used the positive form of the adjectives now let's try to understand where we shall use the comparative form of the adjective if in a sentence you can see the word than then we have to use the comparative form of the adjective here are some examples iron is dash than cotton heavier rani is dash than her sister more gentle the camel is dash than the horse taller so in all these sentences you find the appearance of the word than and that is why we use the comparative form of the adjectives so what about the superlative form well in sentences wherein you find the article the just before the blank we use the superlative form of the adjective rose is the dash flower loveliest who is the dash girl in the class most hard working cheetah is the dash animal fastest so in these three sentences you find the article the just before the blank and hence we have used the superlative form of the adjective let's try to practice now the night is the dark darker darkest just before dawn in this sentence you find the article the so we should use the superlative form of the adjective so answer would be darkest it is hot hotter hottest today than it was yesterday here we see the word than and hence we should use the comparative degree so our answer would be hotter the sun is the bright brighter brightest at noon over here we find the article the before the adjective so we should use the superlative form and hence our answer would be brightest an angry angrier angriest bull charged at a lion over here we find the article an and hence we should use a positive degree 
So our answer would be F3. So remember children, if you find the article A or an before the blank, we use the positive degree. If the word than appears in a sentence, we have to use a comparative degree. And if the article the appears just before the blank, we have to use the superlative degree. Hope the concept of degrees of comparison and their usage in sentence is clear to one and all. Thank you all for watching this video.